everybody, Heather here. I had a request to color this cute bear from the Gone Fishing Kit, so I thought we'd do that today. And I've already stamped my image with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on Nina 80 pound cardstock. So let's get started. Alright, so for my bear I'm going to use E43, 42, and 41. And I'm going to have my light source be on this side of my bear so he's more shiny over here. So I'm going to start with E43. And I want him to be a little bit darker, like where he is, his ear comes out of his, out of his, next to his body. And down here at the bottom where his ear is, I'll pull it, put a little bit. And his hat's going to cast a shadow, so I'm going to go ahead and put that. And then I'm going to switch to 42. And I'm just going to brush lightly over the top of the E43 I just put down. I'm just going to lightly brush right over the top of that. He's got a little bit of a little crease right here in his ear, so I'm going to go ahead and brush that a little bit. And then I'm going to switch to E41, and I'm going to pull from this side of his ear in. Like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to redo it. I'm going to do it again. So I'll start with E43 and lay down where I want it to be darkest. And then E42. And then E41. And also I can see on my E40 42 pin right here, it's looking a little bit light. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Right there, see how it looks like it's like got a different shade of color right here on the pen? It needs refilled. So that's a good indicator for you if you're if you have your markers and they're starting to look like that, that you're gonna need to refill it soon. So let's do the rest of his face. Alright, so his face, I'm going to lay down E43 first. And I'm just going to lightly brush right along this side. And I'm going to put a little bit underneath of his hat. And then I'm going to, I'm going to turn it so I can move it a little bit better here. And then I'm going to switch to E42. And I'm going to brush right over the top of my E43. And then I'm going to come in with E41. And again, I'm going to brush right over the E42 that I laid down. So we're going to continue with E43, 
And so I'm going to go right back over where I again want it to be the darkest. So I want it to be darkest over here. A little bit underneath of his hat. And then I'm going to go with E42. And I'm just going to go over that and pull it out however far you want your bear to be dark on this side. I want it to be a little bit darker up here on the top part of his face. And then I'm going to brush over that with E41. like that. And then I'm going to go over here and get his, little, his ear that he has too. So I'm going to go ahead and start with E43. And I want to be darkest right here and a little bit right there. And then we'll switch to 42. And then 41. keep this side a little bit lighter because I want this whole side of his body to be a little bit lighter. Okay, and then he's got his arms down here. So for his arms, I want them to be darkest underneath. So I'm going to take my E43 and lightly brush underneath of his arm. And then 42. And then 41. I'm going to brush down this time. Okay, depending on how dark I want it to be, I may go back over that again later, but I'm going to leave it for right now. And I'm going to go down and get his feet. So for, again, we're going to start with E43. And I want it to be darkest down here at the bottom. I'm just going to brush a little bit. And this foot's going to kind of cast a shadow onto this foot, so I'm going to leave that dark a little bit. And then I'm going to get this side. And then I'm going to go with E42. And then E41. And then I'm going to color the inside of his foot with the E41. And then he's got a tiny little patch of leg sticking out right over here. So I'm going to get that with E43.
42, and then 41. And then on the inside of his ears, I also did those E41. Like that. All right, so that leaves us with his nose. And so for his nose, I've used W8, 7, and 6. And I again want it to be darkest on, on this side over here. So I'm going to brush my W8. And then I'm going to put W7 on top of that. And then W6 to finish it off. And I think I want it to be just a little bit darker again over here on this side, so I'm going to put W8 again on this side just to darken it up just a tad. Like so. Alright, so for his hat, I didn't do anything too fancy. I just used two colors and I colored every other box, um, either orange or gray. So I have YR14 and W00. So I just decided where I wanted to start with my, with my orange and I picked a square. So I'm going to go with, let's start with this square. And then every other square I did, whoops, well this one's going to be, that one's a big one, so I'm going to just make it right next to it. But I just kind of made them diagonal from each other and went along his hat because they're pretty small squares, so I didn't worry too much about the shading. Just pick various squares here and color them in. Oops. As you can see, I colored one of those squares orange. It should have been gray, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave it. And then I'm just going to go with over the other squares with the W00 and fill those in just so they have a little bit of color. You could also leave them white. I just wanted them to have a little bit of texture. So I went over them with the gray to give them a little bit of color in there. like that. And then I also used um, the oranges for his shorts. So he's got a little shorts down here. But also his shorts, after I got colored him, the I had to color it a couple times, but after I colored it the first time, I'm like, he doesn't have a cuff on one side of his shorts. So yeah, this side has like a little cuff on the side of his pants. So I went in and I added a cuff I pretended like there was going to be shorts were going to come out. So I took my Copic pen and I just came along and went and gave him some cuffs on this side of his pants because he didn't have any and it looked funny all one color. So I just added it in with my Copic um, pen. And then for his shorts, I used um, YR14 and 12. So I'm going to do YR14 first. And so it's going to be pretty dark right in here between his legs. So I'm just going to color that in with the YR14. And then on this side, I'm just going to put a little dab like that. And same with this side. Give him a little bit. And then fill it in with YR12.
All right, and then for his shirt, I used um, YG95. So I'm going to go add that where I want it to be the darkest. So I want it to be darkest right underneath of his chin. I'm going to give it a little line underneath there. And the bottom of his shirt here, sleeve a little bit. And then I added YG93. And I again went over the part I already laid down, so I went right over the 95. And leave a little bit there so I can put a little bit of lighter color and make it look a little shinier on the top of his sleeve. And then I use YG91 as my last color. And then for the cuffs of his shirt and his pants, I used a couple of W's. I used W1. So I'm going to lay down where I want it to be darkest with my with my W. So I want it to be dark where it kind of rolls over on his sleeve. Same with this side. His arm's going to cast a shadow. So maybe a little bit there. And then I went over the whole sleeve with W20. W00. And that kind of pushed my little green mistake I had out back out too, so you can't, can't see it as much. Let's go over it again, push it right back out. So that's how I colored the bear, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.